Hi. Honesty always pays. Once, our Nobel laureate Sir C. V. Raman, after retirement, thought he will have his research institute in Bangalore. He wanted to interview a good physicist. So he wanted to have three physicists in his uh, laboratory. So he thought he will interview people based on their ability to do research. Many people who are in the same field applied thinking that they will at least get a chance to meet this great man, uh, Nobel laureate Sir C. V. Raman. And hence, uh, the applications were uh, plenty. After shortlisting so many people, in the last five uh, physicists, scientists were selected. And the final five was given to Dr. Sir C. V. Raman for him to go through it, the profile. Next day morning, he asked all those scientists to come and he selected three of them and the two candidates were not selected. So the day ended. Next day, uh, professor was walking along uh, the garden area and he saw a man standing there. So he asked, what is that you want? Why are you here? And then he identified that this man was one of those two candidates who got rejected yesterday. So that uh, young physicist who was standing there came to professor and he said, uh, Sir, uh, the accounts department gave me 7 rupees extra uh, as a travel allowance. I wanted to give it back to them. Since the accounts got closed, they were wanting me to have these 7 rupees with myself. Since this does not, does not belong to me, I thought I will hand it over to you and hence go back. Thereby, I get a chance to meet you also. So, having met the great man once again, he was so happy and then he handed over that extra payment which uh, was given to him the previous day by accounts department to professor. So, professor was uh, smilingly took the money and uh, he was about to take a walk and he stopped. He called uh, that boy and he said, uh, okay, even though you failed in the interview, um, uh, he could not make it in the last three, uh, you won with your honesty. Uh, just to pay this money back, you stake back. So I will create another post for you and you can become, uh, you can take up that post and then be in my office. So he was, he was the, the young physicist was so happy that he could get another opportunity to stay with uh, uh, the, the great, great personality, Dr. Sasivi Raman. So years passed. This was the, uh, another physicist who got the Nobel Prize in 1983, Dr. Subramaniam Chandrasekhar. Being uh, not in a position to get, uh, get selected in the last three, with his honesty, he could stay back and then pursue his own goals and then become a great scientist for our nation. As, as Albert Einstein said, you can be a person of great knowledge, but more important is person of values. So when we have values with us, you can scale the heights of performance. More important is morals and values and hard work. So thank you very much for patiently watching this video. Please pass on this uh, honest behavior to the younger generation. We need more of this. If a shopkeeper gives 5 rupees extra, 10 rupees extra, or when a banker gives, gives you 100 rupees more when you are taking the money back, please give it back to them. Because end of the day, that poor employee has to pay back to the organization. The organization never bears it. It may be the slip of it, may be your own relative sitting in the counter. Think that, you know, let us have only what we deserve than what we actually desire. Let us not have whatever comes to us. Let us only have what is deserving to us. So, honesty always pays. So, with this small tip for the day, please start your day. Thank you very much for patiently watching. Bye.